Today we ask the age-old question. Will it Christmas tree? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. All right, on today's show, we're going to answer some very important questions. Is it possible to have too much bacon? Can Mamrie Hart get help from a real life witch? And do we know the difference between an Instagram filter and a celebrity baby name? Oh, I sure hope so. Now, if you want to make sure you get the full GMM experience every day, I want to remind you to click the thumbnail with the green border to watch from the beginning. This is the beginning of this episode, this is so the you've beginning. succeeded. Yes. But just keep that in mind. Congratulations. Green means go. All right, first things first. It's December, which means the eggnog is flowing, your chestnuts are roasting, <laughs> and Black Friday shoppers' bruises are finally fading. This also means that you need to snag that tree from the attic and get to decorating. It's time for Will It Christmas Tree? Ho, ho, ho. We have some amazing Christmas constructions in store for you oh. right over there, and this is serious, so we've got some serious criteria. We're going to uh, judge us initial impression that mm -hmm. it gives us. We're gonna see, right. can it hold a heavy ornament? That's yeah. very important. How does it light up? Does it light up? And overall Christmassiness. Yes. Let's get to the first tree. Now, I personally prefer a real tree because I like wood and I like to smell wood. We know you do. That's the problem with a fake tree is it ain't got no smell. But we thought, can we create a fake tree that actually has a smell? We present to you the Car Air Freshener Christmas Tree. Woo! Look at this. Oh, smell this thing. I can thing. smell it. I can smell it before you pull the curtain. Oh my gosh. We've got cinnamon apple. It's We've like got I've been hit with a car wash. Royal pine. We've got black ice. We've got more royal pine. We've got, what is the yellow? I can't even read that. Ugh. I don't know. I'm not supposed to know. Vanilla aroma. There is a new car scent, of course. And we, we got some a row of new cars. We got scent. some bumper stickers. And then we got a topper up here that is. A rear view mirror so you can look at the tree and then look at anyone else who's behind you looking at the tree. Um, okay, so we're gonna test a few but things. But it smells horrible. I mean, first of all, just my general impression is the smell <sighs> is has exceeded anything that I would typically experience at Christmas. When you combine all these scents, that is not a Christmas scent. It is just a headache. Like literally, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's I'm getting started. Now, structural test. Uh, you want to be able to hang a heavy ornament. Heavy ornament, of course, an oil can, because everyone who works on their car uses this old-fashioned oil can. <laughs> See if it can hang, man. So I don't want to think too much about it. You just put it on there, and you just get it in there, and then... Okay. See? With a little thought and engineering, it does hang, but and then And even if like... the kids get excited, woo, Christmas time, mommy! Oh, oh, it, oh it, it stays on there. It's got a good spring to it. Okay. Like the well, cat would bounce right off of that. I mean... Okay. Um, and now, let's see if it'll light up. I see there's a couple of lights. Boom! Right there. Couple of it's got are, a couple of headlights. These are supposed to be headlights? These are, these are some... <laughs> you can't just get headlights, though. These are an approximation of headlights. Yes. Slash work lights. Okay, so overall Christmas-y, Christmas-y? christmas Christmas-s. christmas, christmas, christmas It's colorful. You've got the green and you've got the red. It's got the right shape. I could definitely see this when you walk into an auto parts store, but in my own home, I could not withstand the smell. The smell is too overwhelming. Maybe if you left it outside for a couple of weeks in the breeze and it gave off all the smell, maybe. But as it stands right now, will it Christmas tree? No. Here in LA, a lot of people go back home to wherever they actually live or they came right. from for Christmas time. But then that leaves a few people roaming around the streets like nuclear fallout survivors. Yes. How do those people eat around the Christmas holidays? Mm. They get Chinese takeout, y'all. Yes. So why not give them a tree? Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the I'm dreaming of an orange chicken Christmas tree. Look at this. We got Chinese takeout boxes, leftovers for days. I'm going to dig in because I'm hungry. It smells great, especially after the last thing I just smelled. Um, mm. It's got a good shape to it. It's very festive and global, you know? And this is the thing, I mean, if you stick around here for Christmas, you don't get mama's home cooked. Mm -mm. Mama ain't coming out here. Mama ain't coming to LA. Now, on the topper, you got the waving cat that a lot of Chinese restaurants have because they appropriated that from Japan. Yep. I'm gonna stay out of that one. It's like a buffet meets a Christmas tree, which is absolutely amazing. Now, I will say, no doubt, this Christmas parties, right? Will it Christmas party? Awesome Christmas right. party. Because right. it's like, 
But Christmas trees, they got to last. I mean, you're gonna have to keep refilling it, which is not a problem. I'll keep eating it. You, you know, you know how a normal live Christmas tree, it starts to get bad, like it gets dry, it starts to shed everywhere. This one would get a lot worse. Yeah. I think there's something just flew out of my mouth. I found a fortune. You need it later. Health, happiness, and great success awaits you. Okay. All right. I wanted, a, I wanted a unique one, man. Mine says nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Your future holds nothing. You like. know what? I'm changing my mind about your tree. All right. You got nothing from me. The ornament test. Hang a heavy, oh, is that an actual egg roll? It's an egg roll, Link. Of course it is. Let's just see if it will. Ooh. Oh, it's on there. I mean, That's easy. And even with a little bit of little jostle, mm -hmm. not going anywhere. And does it light up? Does it ever? Yes, it sure does. I mean, the lights are very concentrated but they do spell open. I gotta say, I'm enjoying myself so much right now mm -hmm. that there's no way that this Christmas tree does not Christmas tree. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. Will it Christmas tree? Yes! The holidays are all about bringing people together. So we decided let's unite two holiday celebrations, Hanukkah and Christmas, and have one iconic thing we can all gather around. We present to you the Hanumas tree. It's Hanumas time, y'all. Look at all these menorahs. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of Hanukkah happening here, not just the menorahs, but we also have- Latkes? Latkes. Some pickles and some slaw. We have gelt, which got, is the uh, the chocolate coins. We got some dreidel action. We also have sides of pickles and coleslaw because every time you go to a Jewish restaurant, they give you that. And of course, right up here, um, the star is the biggest Jewish star that we know, Steve Gutenberg. He was in Cocoon. Yeah, Police Academy. Hello, hello. Uh, so of Did course. Did they say that in Police Academy? I don't believe so. <laughs> let's uh, let's just try a little. Oh, these and were not can... fried recently. Yeah, kind of kind of hardened. Oh. Mm. I mean, day two, day three, mm. day anything after immediately. Um, I do not recommend. Don't worry, I just uh, eating back there. eating the tree. But pickles always good, right? And um, you've got a heavy ornament down here, right? I do. Let's do the heavy ornament test. It's another menorah. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is sacrilegious, but I'm gonna hang a menorah on another menorah. Oh, do it. There we go. Success, guys. And you know what, down here we've got some gifts. Well, you get eight gifts for Hanukkah, and what we've been told by all our Jewish staff is that you get one good gift and seven crappy gifts. So we've got a lot of crappy gifts, and here's our one good Let's gift. Let's open it together. Oh, I can't wait, can't wait. Oh look, it's the- Menorah Rihanna, she's Menorah back. Rihanna. She's coming around again this year. <laughs> we made this last year and we re-gifted it to ourselves. <laughs> okay. Re-gift. Now, let's see if this thing will light up, Link. Um, There's no, oh yeah, we got a, this is a one by one -er. Up. Oh. And I've also got, I've got real, I got real fire over here. Okay. You gotta find, oh my goodness. Heads up, Steve. There's a lot of button pushing. Pushing to happen. Yeah, got a pushing that button. Pushing. Okay. Oh, I don't. I don't even know where I'm supposed to. Now, go. you. I mean, this is not great when you can't just simply plug it in and celebrate. And you know, the more I think about it, I think these two holiday traditions might just need to remain separate. Will it Christmas tree? No. No. Oh, in less than two weeks, Star Wars: The Last Jedi will be in theaters and people will be lining up around the block for that. But will you be lining up today to make one of these? It's the Merry Sithmas tree. Check it out, guys. We've got a Christmas tree oh, yeah. made out of lightsabers. Is, how could this not Christmas tree? Well, don't man? get ahead of yourself. Okay, I don't, Let's I don't, evaluate I'm, it. I'm trying to contain my excitement. Let's we've be got, fair. We've got, uh, you know, different Star Wars accoutrements, helmets here, Leia's buns, and of course, right on top, the perfect star, the Death Star. With Leia's Topper, buns. with Leia's buns. Okay, now, we actually consider some other names for this, including Tree 3PO, Tree Baca, Spruce Vader, R2 Tree 2, and May the Frost Be With You. <laughs> but we decided on uh, Mary Sithmas Tree. And we've got a heavy ornament, right? You do the honors now. Um, Okay. That is a solid gold Darth Vader helmet. Oh! And you just damaged it. Well, I, I don't mean, know. It hung. 
Well, it slid. So that's not great. See if you can perch it. Stick right there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All yeah. right. And let's see if it lights up. Um, well, you've actually got to activate each one. Ooh, of these. it's got a nice sound to it. Individually. Now, if the menorahs made a sound, then I might would have been a little more excited. Because this is kind of a menorah vibe in terms of like now, having to activate. The problem is, is that once these things get activated, you actually need to keep them going by interacting with them. Oh goodness! I just turned one off. We got to get all these on. I don't know. Their buttons are in different places on each one. Here we go. We can we can do this. We can do it. We can do it. Don't give up. It's totally worth it. But the buttons are everywhere. They're they're everywhere. They're all in different places. I don't even know where the freaking button is on that one. Oh goodness. Okay. Just you know what? Just let it go, man. Just let it go. All right. So if you hit them, they'll stay on. So basically, you got to keep whacking this thing if you want it to stay on. It's really durable, though. I don't. This will keep the kids occupied. It's got some kinks to work out, but I think that combining these two things, a world religion and another world religion, um, it's a pretty great idea. Honestly, I think if this doesn't Christmas tree, then everyone's gonna hate us. We're gonna be in trouble. Will it Christmas tree? Yes. All right, make sure to click through so you can watch Mamrie Hart cast holiday spells with a real life witch. Wish you could listen to us talking a little bit longer? Well, download the latest episode of Ear Biscuits wherever you get podcasts.